sometimes after a hard day at CES, you just need a little robot to cuddle with. You know what I'm saying? We've all been there. You've heard of robot dogs, but now, cat lovers, there's also a companion robot for you. This is the Mars cat, a bionic cat, a fully autonomous robot cat pet that is possible to own this year. Uh, this is from a company called Elephant Robotics, and it's not as polished as something you've seen from Sony's Ibo, but it shows where we're going with companion robots. There are sensors on here, you can see when people are coming up to it, it can react, it has its own personality, and it just does different things roaming around the house. What's interesting about Mars Cat is that it's also programmable. This little kitty's still rough around the edges a bit, but that's because it's a prototype. They'll have to smooth out a few things when it comes to the body and the look of it. But you get the general idea. Meow to you too. Let's talk a little bit about what Mars Cat can actually do. It has touch sensors on the top of the head and at the bottom of his little chin. The nose is a camera that can detect faces. There's also a microphone that can detect sound, so it's listening for voice commands. Uh, so it'll recognize about 20 different commands, which are programmable. Things like come here and leave me alone, whatever, <laughs> whatever it can say. Uh, and the way you're reacting to it, whether you're speaking in high pitches or saying things sternly, will start to shape the way that its personality develops out of the box. So you might get a shy cat, or you might get a really active cat, and it responds more positively and is more active with people who talk in more cutesy little ways. Isn't that right? Yes, it's a meow meow. Oh no, I know. <laughs> As it walks around and moves its head, it has 16 servo motors, and that's a, a little bit less than what you see in Ivo, but still pretty impressive. What I think is funny about the fact that they made a cat is that just like any other cat, you know, it doesn't have to listen to you. So if it doesn't listen to you, well, that's just part of the programming now, isn't it? And this robot cat can even play with cat toys. The camera in front is looking for quick little motions. So if it detects a little cat toy, it'll start to make noises and react to it. Hello, hello. Yes, go get it. Go get oh, yeah, see, see, he likes it. He likes it. That's right. That's right. It'll do different kinds of animations, even uh, putting paws up or uh, kicking back the litter. If you really want an authentic experience, maybe you could even put a robot litter box out. I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you because it's programmable. It has a Raspberry Pi inside. There's a lot of different voice commands. You could say, run, walk, come here, but you need a wake word. So you would say something like, hello kitten, or Mars cat. Wait a few seconds and say your command. So it's not always listening, but that way it helps it know when you're about to say a command. There's a lot still in development here. Uh, you don't have to charge it with a cord in the future. They're working on a base station where the cat will just be able to find his base station and go up to it and sit in it for charging. This is only the beginning for Mars Cat. When it comes to our pets of the future, the company is also making a dog, Pluto dog. Get it? It's hard to hear on the show floor, but he's purring and doing the roar sound and all the little kids. Oh yeah, here you go. Hi, honey. Hi. You want to play? You want to play? I mean, I don't think cats shake hands. Do cats shake hands? At least I'm not allergic to this one. You can really tell the different personalities here. Our gray cat is a little lazy, and the white cat is more energetic, and it's more my speed. You're my buddy. You're my good performing on camera buddy, aren't you? You're, you're lazy, all right? You only want to work when you want to work. Uh, but I like you. Yes, I do. So Mars Cat isn't quite ready to be the cat that roams around your house all day. Well, I suppose it would do a lot of sleeping because the battery only lasts three hours. And to recharge it, you would have to put it on its back. I'm sure you love this position, Kitty. And plug it in to recharge. So it's not quite there to be grandma's companionship pet, but for robot enthusiasts, it could be perfect. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah for CES 2020 and all of our extensive coverage, be sure to subscribe to our channel right now.